Hi, and welcome to this video on HEMI 2.0 versus 2.1. If you're someone who's into home theater systems, gaming, or just looking to upgrade your TV or monitor, you've probably heard of HEMI. But with all the different versions and specifications out there, it can be confusing to know which one is right for you. In this video, we'll take a look at the differences between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 and help you understand which one is right for your needs. First, let's start with a brief overview of HDMI. HDMI, or High Definition Multimedia Interface, is a digital interface that allows you to connect audio and video devices like your TV, computer, or Blu-ray player. It's the most common connector used in home theater systems and TVs, and it's become the industry standard for high-definition audio and video transmission. Now let's talk about the main differences between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1. The main difference between the two is their maximum data transfer rate or bandwidth. HDMI 2.0 has a maximum bandwidth of 18 Gbps, while HDMI 2.1 has a maximum bandwidth of 48 Gbps. This higher bandwidth allows HDMI 2.1 to support higher resolutions, frame rates, and refresh rates. For example, HDMI 2.1 can support 8K resolution at 60Hz, as well as 4K resolution at 120Hz. It can also support dynamic HDR, or high dynamic range, which improves the contrast and color depth of the video. Another key difference between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 is the inclusion of variable refresh rate an enhanced audio return channel in HDMI 2.1. Variable refresh rate allows the display to adjust its refresh rate to match the frame rate of the content being played, resulting in a smoother and more responsive image. eARC allows for higher quality audio transmission, including support for object-based audio formats like Dolby Atmos. So which one is right for you? If you have a 4K TV or monitor and are mostly interested in watching movies and TV shows, HDMI 2.0 should be more than sufficient. However, if you're a gamer looking for the highest quality and most responsive experience, or if you're planning on upgrading to an 8K TV in the near future, HDMI 2.1 may be the better choice for you. It's also worth noting that HDMI 2.1 is relatively new, so it may not be as widely available as HDMI 2.0. Many newer TVs and devices are starting to support HDMI 2.1, but you may have to check with the manufacturer to see if it's available on your specific model. I hope this video has helped clarify the differences between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 and helped you make a more informed decision on which one is right for you. If you have any questions or want to know more, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help out. Thanks for watching.